If you're new to Inkscape or if you're new to Inkscape 1.2, then this is a video about how to easily change the default settings, especially the palette that you're working in. If you're not sure what version of Inkscape you're using, you just go to help and then about Inkscape and this will pop up. I'm using Inkscape version 1.2. So what you wanna do if you wanna change your background, cause here I've got a palette I've got basically a page, and if you'd like to change the colors and stuff like that inside of Inkscape, you can do this pretty easily. You go to File, Document Properties. This little window is going to open up, and what you're looking for is right here, Page, Border, and Desk. So I'm going to click on Page, and I can change the color of the page. Now, you may not want to, but there's an option there. So I'm going to move it to white. I'm going to make sure it's white, and then I'm going to click Border, and the border is the area between the background and the page. So let's say you wanted to make that a bright color so you could see it a bit easier. You can see now it's blue that's popped up. Sometimes I like to have it red. That gives me a nice outline because if you're going to export the page, this helps highlight where the page is. And then the other one is the desk and that's really the background. So you could make the background, for example, black or blue, any color you like. And if you do that, just as an example, now it's really hard for you to build a design that's gonna go off the page. If you need to export this page, you've now really got it right in your face. It's like, this is the page. Now to export a page, you go over here to the right-hand side where it says export this document. It's about six down. And when I click on that export button, you're gonna see you can export the document or the page. And you'll notice that the little image changed, right? The document is just looking at the items the page is looking at all the page. So if you make your page a certain size, like 11 by 17 or 16 by 20 inches, that sort of thing, exporting the page can be really easy, especially for fine art prints, because you're exporting a fixed width and height, which is really nice. I can just change my DPN out to 300, and I can now export this down at the bottom. So I hope you found that helpful. I really like using Inkscape. It's fast, it's free, it's fun. And you know, these videos are hopefully helpful. Leave me a comment if you love them. Leave me a comment if you've got a question or a suggestion. I would love to do more Inkscape videos for you guys. Hope this helps. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills using awesome Inkscape.